शरण्ये त्रिम्बके घोरे नारायणी नमोस्तुते कैसे सिद्ध करने लगे जाने तुमने क्या क्या सोचा के आगे हम तो अब डरने लगे अरे सोचा है रात और दिन तुझे प्यार करेंगे हम धरती है क्यों ये जाने मन मेरे प्यार से है क्या हुआ क्यों ऐसे हमें सताने so many people coming from so many places working together to make to become kind of one culture and one uh, one identity, I guess, Canadian, and yet still maintaining the the sort of great things about the areas or the cultures that they came from. And to me, the Council of India Societies, as much as any organization, represents that. Uh, I look at the stage today, and I see three wonderful flags. And I want to make a comment about each of these flags, one in particular which we're celebrating today. But uh, let me start with the flag on the far... Uh, left, a flag that represents the homeland to so many of you and or the homeland of your ancestors. In many cases, ancestors who chose this country to come to from a wide variety of choices worldwide. And as Mr. Lake pointed out, that choice I'm sure was made because of some of the privileges that we're celebrating with the second flag, the one from uh, our homeland, those of us who were born here. The first flag represents a country that, in my mind, epitomizes what peace, freedom, tranquility, and harmony are really all about. It is the only country that I'm aware of that has never advanced war or injustices against any other country. There may be a few others. There may be a few others, but none of them of the large stature as your homeland of India. I know of the contributions that India has made in terms of the birthplace of so many world religions and of so many great, great individuals, including the great Mahatma Gandhi and so many others. I look at our flag of Canada, a country that has been advanced upon three times in its history, uh, twice by our best friends to the south, <laughs> who are still our good friends after a hundred years or more, and once uh, during World War II off the coast of uh, Newfoundland, Labrador. And I look at this as a flag that also has never advanced against anyone unless precipitated by someone. <laughs> then I look at the flag in the middle, which is where we are so privileged to live. There are many great places in both countries represented by the first two flags, but there is no place greater to me than my home province of Alberta where those two flags come together to share everything. When you come to this province, we don't ask anyone to shed any of their uh, background. We add that background to our cultural mosaic. And that's what brings us together here today, to celebrate that union, that harmony, to celebrate that togetherness and the joint purpose of saluting a country so great, a province so wonderful, that literally thousands and thousands of people come here every year to make it their home. So I thank you for the home that you have helped make our province to be, and I thank you for your continued support for what I'm sure will become an even brighter future for your children and your children's children who are inheriting choices that you or your ancestors made when they first came here. We are very grateful for the presence of all, and we are pledged in the Alberta Legislature to reflect that. Civility and decorum are my two main pillars, as you know, and today, as we celebrate Canada Day, I'm reminded of those people who gave their lives so that we could continue to have that freedom, glorious and free, in a land that breathes and promotes civility and decorum through its very nature, its very breath.
certainly my honor and privilege to be here today and celebrate Canada Day in this wonderful facility which we've been working on for a number of years. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Panicker. Uh, I know he doesn't like me calling him Mr. Panicker because the, he's been Mr. Panicker for many, many years for me. He served on the council's executive with me and, and on the building committee, of course, and he has become Mr. Panicker. So thank you so much for sending your kind invitation, for your kind words. I'm very, very proud to be a Canadian and, of course, uh, as a in Canadian of Indian origin, certainly take great pride. So on behalf of our Premier, Alison Redford, and all of my colleagues from the Alberta Legislature, I would like to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy Canada Day, a country you are so very much proud of. And, of course, Sohail Kadri, uh, my newly minted uh, MLA from Edmonton Melwoods, whose uh, fabulous constituency we're in uh, today, of course, uh, uh, Raj Sherman and... Uh, uh, and Amarjeet Sohi is also joining us. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the celebration. And this is our first celebration uh, in this wonderful building here and many, many more to come. Thank you. Yeah.